this is Jag. Well, in this video, I'm going to do an experiment of growing potatoes and I'm going to compare planting whole potatoes and cut potatoes. Now, there's a lot of discussion whether you should be planting the whole potato or you should cut your potatoes in half and then plant them this way as well. You can eat the other half as well. So I'll be planting both of these, keeping everything else constant and let's see what are the harvest results. So I'm using these store-bought potatoes. I'm going to keep the number of eyes or the number of chits the same. I'm keeping one potato as a whole and I'm going to cut the second one in half. I'm going to eat this half and I'm going to use the other half, the cut potato, to plant. I am going to let the cut potato dry for a week so that it forms a scab and it does not develop any fungus or mold. I'm going to do the same for other potatoes, keeping the number of eyes the same on both whole side and the cut potato side. So I have four full potatoes and four cut potatoes. So these are going to sit for one week and then I will plant. I'm using these 2x2 two two wooden box to grow my potatoes in a very controlled environment. I'm filling both of these with potting soil. After a week, the cut potatoes have formed a nice cap. So I'm planting 4 cut potatoes in one of the corners of the wooden box. I'm planting the potatoes about 3 inches deep. The wooden box is 2 feet by 2 feet, so it's 4 square feet. So I'm planting basically 1 cut potatoes per square feet. I'm doing the same with the whole potatoes as well. Four whole potatoes in each one of the corners. So basically one whole potatoes per square feet. And I'm keeping everything else constant. The sunlight that falls on these two boxes is going to be constant. The amount of fertilizer is going to be constant. And the amount of water applied to both of these boxes is going to be constant. So the only variable is the cut potato and the whole potato. It's been three weeks and the potatoes have started growing. On the right, I have whole potatoes and they already seem to be doing much better than the potatoes that were already chit. Other factors are constant, even watering is constant, sunlight, fertilizer, everything is constant. And the whole potatoes seem to be doing much better, much fuller, but we'll see how the harvest goes. So it's been six weeks, one and a half months, and the growth is looking really good. The whole potatoes on the right side still look a little bit larger. I'm very curious to find out the harvest comparison between the full potatoes and these chit potatoes. It's been two and a half months and the frost took out the potato plants. I was expecting the frost a little later, but sometimes it comes in early, so we didn't get the whole three months of growth on these plants. However, we had enough times for potatoes to form. Let's check out potatoes in each one of these containers and let's see how each one of these did. Well, well let's check them out. Here's a good size potato right there. Oh, that's a really nice one too. A lot of small ones so we are about two weeks short of them you know really being mature and produce bigger potatoes but we'll be able to get enough data from these results well check it out look at these potatoes right let me get rid of all the plants first and the irrigation I'm gonna go through these there you go they are the potatoes right here look at them I'm harvesting all the potatoes, even the little bitty ones, to compare the results. Oh, there you go. The bounty of potatoes. There you go. <laughs> Look at these. So here's a result of the harvest of all the whole potatoes. So let's weigh these and let's harvest the chit potatoes too. So we got 2.2 kgs of potatoes. And let me switch this to pounds. So this is 4.92 pounds, almost five pounds of potatoes. Let's pull out the chit potatoes too. Oh, they're big ones in the air as well. Oh, wow. So we might have very surprising results. Let's see. Oh, wow, look at the size of this one. Oh, we didn't get that from full potato. Oh man, let's see what happens. All right. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. Check these out. They're definitely bigger potatoes. I think that's it. That's all we got. They are big ones, but they are much fewer than whole potatoes. So let's weigh them. So let's weigh this. It's 3.8 pounds, which is much less than the whole potatoes. Let me switch this into kilograms. It's 1.72 kg. So I kept all the factors same. The watering was the same, sunlight was the same, fertilization, acidifying the soil, 
every single factor was constant. So the whole potatoes yielded a lot more potatoes than cut potatoes and cut potatoes yielded bigger potatoes. Now, the reason why I'm thinking this is happening is because even though I kept all the chips the same on whole potatoes and cut potatoes, the whole potatoes are creating more chips and more plants after it's planted in the ground. So there are a lot more plants in the same amount of area in whole potatoes as compared to the cut potatoes. This is because more potato plants compete for the same resources. While they produce more potatoes, the potatoes remain smaller in size. Fewer plants make the use of same resources. While the potatoes are fewer, they are much larger in size. Well, let me know in the comments if this explanation makes sense or if you think something else is going on. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.